Why well, hello there, boys and girls, ladies and gents. It's your boy Big Red for another one of Big Red's rants and ramblings. So yesterday, I had to venture out of the house and uh, get some estimates on a few things. And when it rains, it pours. Let me tell you, I need I need brakes on my car. I need at l a minimum of two tires. And then I've got something else going on with the car. I just It's got a bad vibration up front, and I don't know what the hell the problem is. It started happening, at, happening after a wreck that I had when somebody rear-ended me, shoved me into somebody else. And we still have, I mean, as long as I can prove it's part of the accident, which I believe wholeheartedly it is because it didn't start till after the accident, the insurance company will pay for it. But I don't know what kind of mechanic to bring it to. Um, I also need to, next month, I need to get my inspection and my inspection and my brake tags done. And I also need to, what else do I need to do? I think that's it, but still. So I got prices on tires. I went to three different places. I went to Walmart. They don't carry the same tires that I have. And they seemed exact, e extremely clueless when it come to helping somebody. So I skipped that. Then I went to NTB. And, well, actually, I went to Discount Tire first. And they said that, oh, it's been disc that tire's been discontinued, blah, 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 blah. We could sell you these four uh, that are comparable, different brand. And he showed me, like, four different brands. And it was almost $1,000 for four freaking tires. Then, I, so I went next, I went, like, two doors down to National Tires and Brakes, NTB, and... Uh, they's like, oh no, we could get those tires for you, but they still like a hundred and seventy dollars a piece. And I don't have nothing special on my car. I'm driving a ten year old freaking car, and yeah, I got good years on them. But I mean, it's it's not like I'm riding around on Kellys or uh, Pirellis or freaking Yokohamas, which I used to run Yokohamas on my CRX all the time. Those tires were badass, but no, I just got regular Goodyear tires on my freaking car. I got a Dodge Charger that's 10 years, almost 11 years old now. <laughs> so ain't nothing extremely fancy on them. Just, you know, just basically uh, the comparable to the OE uh, stuff, which is, if you don't know about cars, OE is original equipment. Um, so, yeah, there's nothing special about them uh, that I know of. Um but yeah, it was like $170 for two. And he says, I think I could get those same tires. But, you know, so, so that's 200 bucks a tire, roughly. And then it, you got to pay for the valve stem and have them balanced and all of this. And, you know, so out the door for two tires, I think, let me see. I, yeah, I got the thing here. Out the door for two tires. I'm looking at four hundred and eighty six dollars and fifty six cents. Might as well say five hundred bucks. And then the other place wanted to sell me, you know, four tires for like almost a little over a thousand. Um and then to do my brakes at that joint, if I just need brakes, I'm looking at uh three hundred and forty two dollars and thirty six cents that's if I could still use my same thing but if I need rotors which might be the worst case scenario I'm looking at seven hundred and eighty five dollars so you look at worst case scenario seven eighty five then for two tires another five hundred bucks that's twelve hundred dollars right there I live on Social Security Disability Income. My money tree's gone. That shit died a long time ago. And I just can't pull that shit out my ass. So like I said, when it rains, it pours. Then I still gotta replace the lock on my, on my car door. Uh, 
about a, about six months ago, somebody broke into it, broke the lock, um, and it's like two hundred and fifty dollars, I think, for the lock, and then another, then you got to buy the handle because it's all made into one. So that's and that's under my deductible for for my um, insurance. So I'm not even going to claim it on that. So you're looking at then you got to get the part painted. So I think because this is the second time this has happened. Um, I think it was like right out around between getting it painted, getting the part, getting the lock, getting it keyed to fit my key. Uh, I want to say it was roughly like four hundred dollars, and my deductibles a thousand. So pff, why make a claim? It was it was either four or five hundred dollars. So you figure five hundred for that, five hundred for two tires. That's a thousand. Then worst case scenario on the on the brakes. I'm looking at seven eighty two. So you're looking at almost two grand. For two grand, I could go buy a freaking used car. I don't know how good of a car it would be. And then then to do the, the taxes and the tags and the inspections, like another hundred dollars for the inspection and I think a hundred dollars for the for the uh tag so i'm looking at another freaking two hundred dollars there so i'm looking at within the next month having to spend a grand i'm sorry two grand on my car and then on top of that i gotta start saving for my son's birthday you know that's coming up in august so it's like i mean when it rains it pours so I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I might get me... I mean, I got this big gnarly beard. I got some old shoes. I might as well just go stand out on the corner with a sign like the rest of the bums. You know, I mean, they can uh, get away with, you know, panhandling. Maybe I should try it. I don't know. But standing up too long with my back and my, my neuropathy hurts. So I don't know. Oh boy, so that's my dilemma at this point. Like I said, when it rains, it pours. You know, freaking. And then on top of that, I still got to figure out the the vibration in my car. You know, I got to figure out. I don't know if I need to take it to a. I don't want to take it to the dealership because they'll rape you. Um, I don't know. Okay, so so let me tell you guys exactly what it's doing, because maybe one of y'all may know what's wrong with it. I don't know. Like I said, it's a 06 Dodge Charger. Uh, somewhere between the miles, like, and it's it's got to be speed related. Um, between 40 and 50 miles an hour, I'll get a vibration in the front of the car. I step on the gas and goes fast, go faster, it'll go away. So, I mean, I don't know if it's suspension related. Uh, I just had, like, four or five months ago, I had the outer tie rod replaced because I had some wiggle in my, in my front tire, and I thought that might have been the problem, but no, that didn't cure the problem. Changed the outer tie rod. So, it, it's... And the t and with that being done, I had the front end aligned, and I had the I had the wheels balanced, because uh, that's what you have to do when you replace the the outer tie rod. So, it's not a tie rod of balance. It's not the tie rod, and I don't know if it's suspension related. Hell, it could be uh, a motor mount that could be cracked. I'm I'm just thinking, you know, what I think it could be. It could be suspension probably it could be um the motor mount cracked but when i had it at jiffy lube getting the oil changed the guy looked up at the motor mounts he said i don't see no cracks in your motor mount so i could theoretically scratch that off the list but i'm not sure it could be uh drivetrain related 
you know, in a drivetrain and it's just vibrating up front? I don't know, but it vibrates something fierce. It, to me, while driving, it feels like it's coming out the front of the car and it'll rattle the shit out of it. Um, so yeah, I don't know what kind of mechanic to take it to. to a, do I take it to a, a transmission place? that does drive trains or do I take it to a just a general mechanic or do I take it to a suspension specialist I don't know maybe y'all could leave something down in the comments but this has been my rant and ramble since I'm looking at like a minimum of two thousand dollars worth of shit to go on with this car which I have no clue as to where the hell this money's gonna come from I I, I really don't know uh, like I said I live on social security disability income and that's barely enough to keep the lights on, food in our stomachs, and the rent for this ghetto-ass apartment I live in. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. But, yeah, I guess we'll have to figure it out some kind of way. Down there in the comments, if you know what that vibration is, or you have a clue, please leave me a comment down there. Um, also, you know, thanks for watching. Sorry about bitching. Uh, this has been Big Red for another Rant and Ramblings, and, uh, you know, just thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. That's one way you can help. You can help by watching my videos, watching the ads. You know, eventually, hopefully, I'll get paid something from, from, uh, YouTube. Haven't gotten there yet. Been at this grind for three months and still haven't seen a check. Um, anyway... You know, click the subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel if you don't mind. Uh, hit me with a thumbs up, thumbs down. It don't matter. We like these better. Um, open a description box. Read that. I put descriptions in there. And there's also some links where you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, there's also a link to my homepage for this channel. So you can find my older content. Um, there's also a link to PayPal if you want to help this particular situation out. I would appreciate it. If not, that's fine. If you want to, you know, help better this channel where I could get better equipment to make this channel better for you guys. Like I said, none of my, none of my videos have been sponsored. This is all me doing this, you know, from my own pocket, from my own heart. Uh, so yeah, if you, if you want to help, there's a PayPal link down there, but just know that you don't have to, but if you, if you're feeling spunky and you're feeling generous, that's what it's there for. Um, but know that you never have to, and, and I don't want to make you feel that you have to just, you know, if you really want to help watch the ads, watch the videos, watch my videos numerous times, uh, that will eventually help sooner or later. Um, Again, this has been Big Red for uh, Big Red's Rants and Ramblings. And as always, tell your mom, tell your pa, tell your greasy greasy grandma, share this video with your family and friends. And uh, till next time, just love one another. This has been Big Red for another Big Red Rants and Ramblings. I'll see you guys next time.